Hi, welcome to another video from thiskindofgirl.com, the home of smart and sexy swinger advice. Today I am asking, do women like swinging? Please subscribe to my channel, check me out on social media at thiskindofgirl2020 and visit thiskindofgirl.com for all the best smart and sexy swinger advice. Let's get straight down to it and ask, do women like swinging? There is a common misconception surrounding women and the swinger lifestyle that I feel needs addressing. And being the straight talking northern girl that I am, I couldn't have a sex and swinger blog without covering these topics. Now, I feel very passionately about this subject, having been in the swinger lifestyle for a long time and also obviously being a woman. So I really did want to do some research and find out what popular opinion was surrounding female swingers. And something which came to me was, are women being coerced? Now, when I was doing my research, I, was, um, I started looking online to see what people were kind of asking, what people thought on, on forums and blog sites and things like that. And there was quite a popular consensus that women are being con coerced into swinging and that no woman would have um, opinions, desires, thoughts, fantasies, um, of, of her own um, and things that she would like to experience regardless of whether or not she was in a relationship. Um, and this this kind of shocked me a little bit because they weren't, um, they weren't old posts, you know, they were fairly recent. So are women being coerced into swinging? There are people who are under the assumption that swinging or being involved in their lifestyle is degrading to women. They do have a somewhat outdated opinion that only women with little self-respect would be involved in such downright debauchery. We have to ask, are women in the swinger lifestyle sexually liberated females or are they to be pitied as the long-suffering wives and girlfriends of swinger men? In 2020, this opinion is still current uh, and it's still a reasonably popular one. I can count at least five people who have expressed this opinion to me over recent months. Now what I was doing was dropping um, the swinger lifestyle or being in an open relationship or non-monogamy or swinger club into conversation um, with people who don't know what it is I, I'm into. Um, just like friends of friends, people who don't really know me well, just to see what their, um, their reaction was and to see um, people who are my own age, to see like whether there were any attitudes changing, whether there were people who were opening up. No, not at all. Now, maybe they just said that because they, you know, they didn't want to be the one to, to you know, to go against the grain, but the general consensus was that only women who were being coerced would swing, which did surprise me and sadden me. Obviously, they need educating. Uh, they need this kind of girl in their life to teach them the ways of um, ethical non-monogamy. <laughs> um, so why is it that people are still under the assumption that no woman would ever want to enjoy swinging for her own sexual pleasure or fulfillment? Now, I'm not going to start diving into human psychology and what makes us form preconceived notions about one another because I could be here all day. Instead, I'm going to talk about why women do enjoy swinging and let's understand why they would want to get involved in the swinger lifestyle in the first place. I haven't conducted a poll However, I have met a lot of swinger women over the years and they've all got involved in the lifestyle for various reasons. Here are a here, are, here is a roundup of my top reasons why women may get involved in the swinger lifestyle. And just as a spoiler alert, none of these women listed coercion. <laughs> okay? So a woman might identify as bisexual or bi-curious and 
perhaps she wants to explore this side of her sexuality and personality while she gets to retain all the emotional exclusivity found within her existing relationship. Now, regardless of what that relationship is, regardless of whether she's long-term married, whether she's in a relationship with another woman, maybe a man, um, maybe they've only been together a few months, regardless of what it is, she wants to retain that while enjoying uh, the freedom to explore bisexuality. Um, so, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's a popular reason that many women can relate to. I certainly can relate to this reason because that is um, one of the reasons, main reasons that I got involved in the lifestyle in the first place. And many bisexual women uh, have shared this with me. So some women know that being sexually exclusive with one person just isn't for them, regardless of whether they are in a relationship with a man or a woman, um, they know that ultimately they want to enjoy having sex with others whilst um, maintaining all the benefits of an emotionally exclusive relationship. So some people just know that it's not for them. They don't want to um, kind of make out that they're gonna be monogamous and they just hit it from the I met a girl last year who, who was like this. She was in an open relationship with her boyfriend. Um, and she just told me that she had, although she was in love with him and emotionally exclusive with him, she's always known that that wasn't for her. And um, they, you know, they had an open relationship and she was able to have sex with other guys. Um, and it worked for them. So some women, they always feel that way and they just know that monogamy doesn't work. And some women have a very high sex drive and actively seek out sexual experiences. Yes, shock horror, women have a really high sex drive. Well, some women have a really high sex drive and they want to seek out their own pleasure. I know, right? Damn. Um, and, you know, the best part of being a, a swinger or being in a relationship where you can talk freely is that you don't have to seek out another person's permission obviously you talk about it as as a, you know a couple you talk about what's going to happen but you have your own fantasies your own ideas your own thoughts your own um desires that you want to act out and you can go and do them you don't have to uh, ever lie or try and hide it you can just go and be you especially if you are a single female swinger um, when I was a single female swinger, I would happily go and um, join couples, go to parties and just seek out new experiences to enrich my life because I knew that ultimately I wasn't going to get those experiences just sitting on my own waiting for, you know, a person to come along, get in a relationship with them and then go and do them. I wanted to get them and, and seek it out for myself and experience them regardless of whether I was with somebody. I didn't want to wait and then go through the whole process of like, this is what I am, this is what I like doing. Um, yeah, basically that's what I wanted. So that is a quick roundup of do women like swinging and why they might decide to get involved. Please do join me next time for another video and I shall see you then.